I camped out all night at Micro Center to buy the 7950X3D on launch day, but I don't think it was worth it. And with the amount of people that we had to fight off to be first in line, should have been our first clue. It's been roughly two weeks since AMD launched their flagship CPU. 16 cores, up to 5.7 gigahertz, 128 megabytes of L3 cache, the literal perfect gaming processor. This is the chip that AMD made everyone wait for. They gave up on the initial launch of the Ryzen 7000 series in anticipation of these X 3D processors, and I'm not sure that was the right move. You see, I needed the 7950X 3D to upgrade this PC right here because we're giving it away and I wanted to make sure that the winner was getting the absolute pinnacle of performance. By the way, if you wanna win this, we're giving it away on March 24th at noon Eastern over on our Twitch channel, so come join us over there. And the only reason I can afford to do that is because Micro Center is sponsoring today's video and it's March Monitor Madness at Micro Center. And what good is having an amazing computer like this one if you don't have a great monitor to go with it? Micro Center has gone mad all March with their new Monitor Madness. You can stop in to check out all of their amazing deals that they have. Like this LG 27 inch 4K 60 Hertz LED monitor. I actually have this exact monitor on my editing rig over there. And this sale is over a hundred dollars less than what I paid for it. But they also have mad deals on other gaming monitors like this HP X27 QC 1440p 165 Hertz for only $199.99. The Acer 1440p 144 Hertz Ultra Wide is going for $299.99. Or if you're on the budget side of things, they have this Acer 1080p 75 hertz for $99.99 or the 24 inch 1080p 144 hertz gaming monitor for $129.99. Whatever your rig is, this one or one a little bit more wallet friendly, Micro Center has a monitor deal for you. You can shop their deals all month long. Whether you're a seasoned PC builder or a first time shopper, Micro Center is there to help you with their knowledgeable associates and wide range of PC parts to fit your build and your budget. You can pick out your parts on their website without having to worry about compatibility and get it fast with Micro Center's 18 minute in-store pickup. 18 minutes, that's it. And if you want the customization of a PC build, but you don't want the hassle of putting it together yourself, you can have one of their trained associates do the work for you. For a fee, Micro Center will assemble your build and have it out the door for you. And if you've built a PC with Micro Center, once you've taken advantage of their BYO setup, you can submit your build to their build showcase. And upon approval, you'll receive a coupon for your next in-store purchase. I love Micro Center because they carry a wide variety of computers, electronics, networking, and communication devices, and they have over 30,000 items in stock. And the best part is, if it's your first time shopping at Micro Center, you can get $25 off your purchase of any AMD or Intel processors limit one per customer. And we personally had a ton of fun streaming our Micro Center camp out for the 7950X3D and being in their store made us feel like a kid in the tech version of a candy store. They've got a bunch of locations all across the US with more coming soon, thankfully. And you can check out their monitor deals for Monitor Madness at the link in the video description. And don't forget to take advantage of their build your own department and the new customer exclusive coupon if it's your first time checking them out. So we were the first customers in line at Micro Center to pick up the X3D chip. I had already built this PC on one of our live streams and it's actually a very respectable system. You know the processor that's in there, but what we upgraded it from was the 7950X. And we'll get into the benchmarks between these two chips in a little bit. But we're putting the chip in the new NZXT N7B650E, this gorgeous white and black motherboard that helps to build out the rest of the design scheme that we went with for the entire PC build. We're cooling that X3D chip with the Kraken Z73 360 60 millimeter AIO, which kept the X3D well under temperature and made sure that everything was running at full tilt. For storage, we have the Crucial P3 Plus 4 terabyte NVMe SSD, graciously supplied by Crucial for all of the PC builds that we need to do. Big thanks to them for hooking us up with that. And for the RAM, we have the G-Scale Trident Z5 RGB DDR5 6000 megahertz, which is as fast as I could get the 7950X or the X3D to run at on this system. Powering the entire thing is NZXT's brand new C1200 watt gold power supply. NZXT sent this over for us to check out. It's a little bit overkill for the CPU and the GPU that are in this build, but there's going to be plenty of room for upgrading. And it was a breeze to install in their brand new H9 Flow case. There's so much room for cable management. It's a dual chamber design with the power supply going at the very back, which gave us ample space to run the cable extensions and everything to make this thing look better. And we have no less than 13 case fans in this PC, so it has tons of airflow. You've got the three down here for intake. You got the three up top 
for exhaust, and then this one rear for exhaust, but then we also have intake coming in from over there with those three, but on the back side of those three is another three that are intaking from the mesh that's on the back of the case. And if you want to include the power supply fan and the fan on the GPU, we're looking at 17 total fans in this system. And the fans that we're using, the white ones, are the NZXT white F120Qs. These things are out of stock all of the time, so I'm thankful that NZXT sent them for us, and it definitely helps to build out this black and white scheme we've got going on. We also threw in some white cable extensions to help give it a pop, and the GPU that's powering this rig is the Reference Edition AMD RX 7900 XTX. I purchased this back when it launched, and unfortunately for me as a YouTuber, it wasn't one of the ones that was defective because I could have made a video on it at that point. It's just a regular XTX that runs exactly as it's supposed to. Hot spot temperatures never get above 93 degrees Celsius. But this is a powerful high refresh rate 1440p or 4K gaming PC. But we picked up the X3D after we had already had the 7950X loaded into this system. So I decided to compare the two to see what's the upgrade difference between the X3D and the 7950X. And the difference in this system when I benchmarked it had me baffled. I thought I benchmarked everything properly. I went through AMD's website to verify that I checked off every single section of how to prep my PC to utilize the 3D vCache, and I couldn't figure out the reason I had the numbers that I got. So let's look at the benchmarks for a second. I benchmarked this system a total of six times, each resolution for each chip that we had. So 1080p, 1440p, and 4K, once for the X3D, once for the 7950X. And if we take a look at our 1080p benchmarks, it's all over the place. The CPUs are either directly matched or in a game like CSGO, the 7950X wins by 9%, or in a game like Cyberpunk, the 7950X3D wins by 9%. But for the most part, they were dead even. There was no discrepancy between these two chips, which is not the way it typically works when it comes to CPU benchmarking, because typically the lower resolution you go, the more CPU bottlenecked you are, and therefore getting a faster CPU will help you out. And I thought, wow, I'm really screwing this up if my X3D chip is not going faster at 1080p. But then the higher in resolution we went, the more confused I got, because at 1440p, in the games where these chips were dead even, the 7950X3D started to pull ahead, or in a game like CSGO, where the 7950X won, the X3D closed that gap at least a little bit. There are still a few games like Fortnite or COD or Returnal where they are identical, but there's more wins than losses for the 7950X3D at 1440p. And then at 4K, the 7950X3D has its best showing yet. 1% faster in Returnal, only 3% slower in CSGO, 4% faster in Cyberpunk, 5% faster in God of War, 4% faster in Hogwarts Legacy, 4% faster in Witcher 3, 2% faster in Fortnite, and dead even with COD. And I was pulling my hair out, benchmarking these CPUs, trying to figure out why is the X3D so bad at 1080p? What am I doing wrong? Everything else looks in line. I triple, quadruple checked all of my setups. I thought I was doing something wrong because of the amount of things you have to do to get the X3D ready for gaming. I checked my BIOS. I made sure the game bar was installed. Game mode was on. We we're set to balance performance in the power options on Windows. And when I was at the end of my rope, I went and watched a few reviews and then I remembered the 7900 XTX performs poorly at lower resolutions. It's not the CPU, it's the graphics card. So that means my benchmark numbers make a lot of sense for the PC we built. It's meant to run at 1440p or 4K, not the theoretical land of benchmarking of 1080p or 720p gaming. And honestly, when you view the X3D CPU in reality of who's going to be actually buying it, it's not always a sensible upgrade. Because while on paper, the X3D performs really great at 1080p, number one, that's with high-end NVIDIA GPUs, not AMD's GPUs. Number two, if you're buying a $700 CPU, you're typically going with a higher-end GPU, which means you're not going to run it at the theoretical level. You're going to run it at 1440p or 4K, depending on what refresh rate you wanna run at. And so on average, the X3D chip performed roughly 1% worse at 1080p versus the 7950X, 1% faster at 1440p, and 2.2% faster at 4K. And I just gotta wonder, 
is the wait actually worth it? Well, I had a ton of fun waiting out for this chip at Micro Center. We were the first person in line at 11 p.m. up until about 6 a.m. Whereas when we waited out for the RTX 4090 at Micro Center, we got there at about the same time and we were about seventh in line with dozens of more people showing up throughout the night. And I think this goes back to the confusion that I've had with AMD this generation. The 7950X didn't make a whole lot of sense to people because they were waiting for the X3D. The 7950X with its 16 cores and its ability to go to its full clock speed on both CCDs and not hampered by the X3D V-Cache actually is a really great chip. However, because AMD told people that the X3D was coming, a lot of people didn't buy the 7950X. But now that we're here, the performance difference in reality on games that you're gonna play at the resolution you're gonna play it at with the graphics card that you're going to use, it doesn't make a ton of sense to even pick it up. But even that is a chicken and an egg scenario because the 7950X is so much cheaper than the 7950X 3D and makes a lot more value sense now. Even though they launched at the exact same price of $699.99, you can find the 7950X on Micro Center for $573, which is 18% cheaper or about $127 less. But then Micro Center has great deals. Like if you want to buy 32 gigs of RAM with it, they'll bundle that together and you're walking out the door with the C CPU and RAM for $599.99. Or if you want to throw in an X670E motherboard with 32 gigs of RAM, you're looking at only $834.99. When you total that all up, when you build the 7950X PC with Micro Center's bundles, you're looking at a $2,900 computer for what we're giving away right here, versus how we have it spec'd out with all of the parts we've used, which is $3,240, which means we spent 11% more on this, but you're only getting 2% better 4K performance on average. And so yes, this is the fastest system you're gonna be able to build, but the X3D chips come with a lot of compromises. Lower clock speed in a lot of applications, as we mentioned, which is why its CSGO numbers are so much worse than the 7950X. You're losing out on productivity in a lot of scenarios, and as a multi-core CPU for production or content creation, it makes a little bit less sense than the faster clocked 7950X. It's a really weird scenario that AMD has put themselves in with launching a 16-core X3D chip. It's so close to the 7950X in real-world scenarios, again, not theoretical benchmarking. I think that if you're thinking of upgrading to Ryzen 7000, getting a budget deal on a 7950X makes a ton of sense versus going for it, the fastest thing that AMD could come out with with the X3D. I do think AMD has a good position coming in with the $450 7800X3D that they're gonna be launching in April, but the 16 core seems like it's only gonna make sense for the people who play the games where it is legitimately really faster. But again, don't forget that we're giving away this whole PC. Come watch us over on Twitch for that. If you want us to wait out for the 7800X3D at Micro Center and do a live stream for that, let us know down below in the comments. And again, big thanks to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video, making it so that we can afford to be a little bit more reckless with what we're giving away, a huge gaming PC, because regardless of the difference between these two chips, you're getting like 100 FPS at 4K Ultra in basically every AAA title. It's This is a massive PC. I'm glad that somebody can take this home. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.